Hello students, welcome to the channel Top Gate. In this video, I will discuss one more problem of DFA that is to design a DFA which accepts all set of strings over the alphabet A comma B such that number of A's in W is divisible by 3 and the number of B's in W is divisible by 2 or you can also get this question by uh, like uh, number of A's in W mod 3 is equal to 0 and number of B's in W is mod 2 is equal to 0. That means uh, if you count the number of A's in the string and you divide it by 3 and if the remainder is 0 then it is accepted and if you count the number of B's in a string and you divide it by 2 and you get the remainder as 0 then also it will be accepted. So between these two conditions I have and and operator okay that means these two conditions simultaneously should be there in the uh, in the language okay so these two conditions both of these conditions should be there okay not even a, a single one both of these should be there so now let's first understand what kind of language this is and what is the shortest possible string in this case okay so in this one it is saying that the strings should be made up of a and b and all the strings should contain uh, a's that should be divisible by 3 that is a multiples of 3 that is it should contain either 0 0 number of a's or 3 number of a's or 6 number of a's or 9 number of a's and it should also contain b's as the multiples of 2 that is either it should contain 0 number of b's or it should contain 2 number of b's or it should contain 4 number of b's and so on okay so uh, what is the shortest possible string in this case so the shortest possible string in this case can be like we have number of a's divisible by 3 number of b's divisible by 2 that is if number of a's is 0 number of b's is 0 okay then also it should be accepted therefore we should accept epsilon also okay so if epsilon is getting accepted by the machine then we have to make initial state as the final state that is a confirmed thing okay so we'll make initial state as the final state to accept this epsilon string first of all okay now apart from this epsilon what else strings i have to accept so the shortest possible string in this case can be let's say if i have a a a okay so in this one I have three number of A's that is divisible by three multiple of three and in this one I don't have any B's that is I have zero number of B's fine so this should be accepted okay next one suppose I have the string as BB so this string is a multiple of two it is divisible by two and in this one there are no A's that is number of A's in this string is zero that is again a multiple of three so therefore this BB should also be accepted apart from this a a a b b should be accepted apart from this b b a a a should be accepted that is if one b comes it is mandatory that i should have one at least one more b okay and if at least one a comes okay so as soon as we get one a then it is mandatory that we should get at least three b's then okay if there are no a's no b's there is no issue but as soon as we get one b it is mandatory to accept at least one more b and if we get one a it is mandatory to accept at least two more b's two more a's after that okay so we'll design for this one first so first of all i'll design for the minimum string that is this one and this one okay so for these two strings i'll design a dfa and then all the other strings will be incorporated into that okay so let's design the dfa for this string so first of all we know that epsilon has to be accepted therefore initial state should be the final state so therefore my epsilon is getting accepted into this q naught okay now next one is i should accept a a a okay that is i'll take two more states let's say q1 and q2 and from here i'll come to q1 with a I'll come to Q2 with A and from Q2 I'll again go back to Q0 with A that is I'll start from Q0 I get first A, second A and a third A. So this three A's is getting accepted by this DFA. Okay. Now the next one is I should also accept BB. Okay. So now BB I'll take one more state say Q3 
3 this time and from q0 to q3 i come with b and from q3 to q0 again go back to with b okay so in this way we are accepting two b's and in this path i am accepting three a's okay now dfa in a dfa i need to complete the all the states that is uh, all these states must have exactly one path for each input alphabet so q0 i have one path for b i have one path for a so q0 is complete q1 i have one path for a but one path for b is missing at q2 one path for a one path for b is missing q3 one path for b is there and one path for a is missing now i told you that whenever we start our string and in that string if we get one b then i should get at least one more b if i get one a then i should get at least uh, two more a's okay so uh, how we'll do this now now i started from q0 and from q0 to q3 i went with b okay now we got one b suppose i have after this b i have string as b triple a okay so i have this b now i need triple a and after that again i need one more b that is i'll start with this b and here somewhere i need three a's and then again i'll come back to this one with b i'll go to q naught okay so what i'll do i'll take one more state say q4 and one more state as q5 and the same thing that i have done here i'll do here also that is with b i came here with a i will come to this one with a i'll come to this one and from here to here i'll again go back to the state q3 with a so now see 1b 1a 2a 3a and 2b that is we have got the string that we need to accept fine so here also i'm getting three a's here also i'm getting three a's and i start from q naught and again i will come back to q naught in that way i will always get at least three a's now okay now let's complete this dfa now so q naught is complete fine if i go to q3 for q3 one path for b one path for a it is complete it is also done okay and this uh, q4 one path for a is done and one path for b is left okay for q5 one path for a is done one path for b is left okay now suppose i come here to uh, I, suppose i come to q5 from q0 that is from q0 i come with b that is b 1b then again 1a then again 2a so till here i'm getting 2a's and 1b okay and suppose i come from this one to this one with say b okay so i have 1b 1a 2a 2b okay and from here i take this turn i'll go back to state q naught so three a's so that means 1b 1a 2a 2b and 3a so three a's are done and two b's are done now q5 i have one path for b one path for a so we are done with q5 also so q5 is complete now come to q2 q2 i have one path for a but i don't have a path for b so let's find a path for b uh, for q2 so what i'll do suppose i am coming from q0 that is a a so i've got two a's now okay and i need to go this way suppose so what i'll do i'll take this turn and this path will be b so 1a 2a 1b and 3a and 2b okay so this way also i'll be getting at least two b's and three a's fine now q1 and q4 is left for q1 i have the path for a but path for b is missing for q4 path for a is there path for b is missing so what i'll do i'll simply connect with this one with b and with this one with b so now if you see from q0 i come to q1 with a so 1a is there then 1b is there okay so 1a 1b then again 2a 3a and 2b 
okay so this is the dfa for this particular question now let's check this out whether we have done this correctly or not so i'll take a correct string first and then i'll take a wrong string also okay correct string should be accepted and the wrong string should be rejected by this machine so let's take a correct string first so correct string suppose i take as a b a b a okay so we have one two three three a's and two b's that it should be accepted and the pointer is currently on to the first day and the initial state is q naught so at q naught a applied at q naught a applied i went to state q1 pointer moves on to b now at q1 b applied at q1 b applied i went to state q4 and the pointer moves on to a now at q4 a q4 a i went to q5 pointer moves on to next b at q5 b q5 b i went to state q2 pointer moves on to a so at q2 a q2 a i went to state q0 which is my final state and therefore this string is getting accepted by this dfa fine so correct string is getting accepted not take a wrong string also wrong string should be rejected if it is rejected we are done so wrong string suppose we have a b a b b okay so how many a's we have we have two a's we have three b's so practically this should not be accepted because we should have at least three a's and all uh, only two b's or four b's okay so let's start doing this one so pointer is currently on to the first day state is q naught at q naught a applied q naught a applied i went to state q1 and the pointer moves on to b now so q1 b applied q1 b applied i went to state q4 pointer moves on to a so at q4 a applied at q4 a applied i went to state q5 and the pointer moves on to b at q5 b applied q5 b applied i went to state q2 pointer moves on to b at q2 b applied q2 b applied i went to state q5 which is not the final state therefore this string is getting rejected by this dfa so this uh, dfa is a correct solution for this problem okay thank you so much